Hello and welcome to another video on engineering entrance exams. Today we will discuss about an important topic for engineering entrance exams which is matrices. Matrices is a topic which has get a weightage of around 1 to 3 questions for your JE mains. and about two to four questions for every other local state competitive exam. So when we talk about the Telangana competitive exam, we get around three to four questions for the MSET exam. Even for the AP MSET exam, it is more or less the same. And around two to four questions for other competitive exams like KSET, Manipal, WIT, SRM and so on. The interesting thing about this chapter is it is one of the easiest topics in algebra. It is one of the scoring topics. But having said that, the problems might tend to get lengthy at times. So let us categorize this chapter and see what are the sub subtopics in this and what we need to focus on for our preparation. So matrices topic is primarily divided into addition and subtraction of matrices, multiplication of matrices, then we talk about determinants, and we talk about inverse, and then finally number of solutions. In most of the competitive exams, topics like determinants, inverse, number of solutions play a prominence and this can be a decider of getting a seat in a good college and getting a seat in a not so good college. So in the coming videos we will discuss more about these topics. We will take some examples, we will take some previous year questions and I will teach you some interesting tricks to solve these questions easily. Thank you. Hello everyone. In continuation with the basic introduction discussion, we will first talk about determinants. This is a classic question based on determinant properties wherein in usually in your board's method you use various properties be it uh, subtracting rows, columns, making it into a lower triangular or an upper triangular matrix and then try to get the answer, final answer. But we are not using that here. If we observe, the question is a simple case of variables. We have three different variables here A, B, C and those are repeated across rows and columns. Even the options are in terms of A, B and C. So now what we can do for these type of questions is we can just assume the values of A, B and C. What I will do is I will just assume the A value as 1, B value as 2, the C value as 3. I will substitute these values in the given question and also in the options and check which one is giving me the correct answer. So if we substitute A1, B2, C3, we get this determinant as debt of B square is 4 plus C square is 9 so it is 13, A square is 1, again A square is 1, B square is 4 c square plus a square 9 plus 1 is 10 b square value is 4 again c square value is 9 c square value is 9 a square plus b square 4 plus 1 is 5 so now this is a 3 by 3 determinant a 3 by 3 determinant we can just give plus minus plus so if you are talking about the first one this will be plus 13 into so when i am taking the first element here I cover the corresponding row, I cover the corresponding column like this. So what we end up getting is 10, 4, 9 and 5 which looks like a 2 by 2 determinant for us. And the second term now is minus 1 into, so I cover this, I cover this, so we get 4, 4, 9, 5 and finally plus 1 into, so I cover this and this, this will be 4, 10, 9, 9. If we observe now, these look like a 2 by 2 determinant. Now, how do I do a 2 by 2 determinant? So, this will be 13 into, this will be 
10 into 5 is 50. Minus 9 into 4 is 36. Minus, this will be 4 into 5 is, so minus 1 into, 4 into 5 is 20. Minus 4 into 9 is 36. Then finally, plus 1 into, 4 into 9 is 36. Minus 10 into 9 is 90. So 50 minus 36 is plus 40 into 13 plus this is minus into minus is plus 16 minus 54. So 14 into 13 you can write it as so 14 13 let's do it quickly 15 182 plus 16 minus 54. So this is 198 minus 54. We should get the answer as 144. Now, the question, we got it as 144. Now, let's check my options. Substitute A, B, C in the options. So, this will be 1 square. 2 square is 4. 3 square is 9. So, it is 36. This is 4 into 1 into 2 into 3. 6 fours are 24. So, this is also not possible. This is also not possible. This one is 4. 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 9 into 4, 36, 36 into 4, 144, this may be the answer, I just have to be sure that I won't get two same options, so this one will be again 2 into 1, into 4, into 9, 36 twos are 72, it's not possible, so C is the correct answer. So the way we have done it is, we just gave ABC value, substitute in the equation. It was a classic 3 by 3 determinant form. We just simplified the determinant. We got the answer and we checked the same with the options. We got option C, 4, A squared, B squared, C squared. You can expect at least one question based on this in one of your competitive exams. So hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you.